everyone, Hannah here and welcome to this special, special episode of Insta360 TV. With the launch of the One Art, we are giving creators limitless possibilities with just one camera and a bunch of accessories. And seeing as Insta360 TV has came on the road for this episode, I thought we would merge those two concepts together. And that got me thinking, what is your favourite car scene from a Hollywood blockbuster? Leave yours down in the comments below, but mine is Italian job. Unfortunately, let alone me doesn't have a driver's license, so we called one of the best in town to give us a little hand with this episode, introducing our special guest. Let's come ahead. What's up, buddy? What's up guys, I'm Buddy Wyrick. I'm a digital content creator and filmmaker. I specialize in automotive photography and videography. And today I wanted to bring Insta360 TV out to help recreate some cinematic automotive shots using the Insta360 1R. You ready? Okay, kick it. Let's do it. So if we were in Hollywood, buddy, what are these kind of shots called? This interior shot with the wide angle is typically your just interior two shot. You see this commonly in comedians in cars getting coffee or James Corden's uh, carpool karaoke, or you see it in, in just normal, you know, driving shots, where, whether it's in Fast and Furious or, or just any of your typical automotive interior shots where you can't get a big cinematic camera inside. This is perfect for those shots. Sweet. And what about this bad boy? So this guy up here is one of my favorites because it gives you a perspective that you don't typically see in past Hollywood films. This is something that is a little more modern and creative that you would see in video game type of stuff with Grand Theft Auto, right? So it, it takes it from a first person point of view driving shot to where it's almost that third person point of view um, like an eye in the sky type of thing. And I think it's a very, very useful and beautiful shot when you're doing high pace automotive type of videography. So round number two, we are gonna go real JTA style, buddy, what are we gonna do? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get a little more creative this time and we're gonna, we're gonna use the invisible selfie stick right here with the 360 camera and it's gonna give us that video game kind of feel like bird's eye view. Like it's one of the most mind blowing shots ever. So putting in the 4K camera on the rear windshield so we can play around with some hyperlapse style of shots. I think that it gives it a very you know, Star Wars light speed kind of, kind of look to it. Another interesting setup here is for one of our exterior shots that is, a, is stabilized to the actual car rather than using the Russian arm, which is more of a chase car type of scenario. I prefer doing something like this that allows you to have a stabilized shot on your subject in the driver's seat, which, which in films you have this big giant rig with suction cups and chains and mounts and wires and cables all like holding the camera it's set up on there and you can't go too fast. With this setup here and the flow state stabilization that's built in the Insta360, I think that this is an awesome, awesome, quick setup to get a high quality shot on your driver in the driver's position, exterior. Okay, my friends, that is a wrap on today's episode. We hope you enjoyed how to create classic automotive cinema angles, but with a selfie stick, a few accessories, and an action camera. And I hope this also showed how you can get creative using both the 4K and the 360 mod. This episode wouldn't have been possible without our friends over at Newport McLaren. And if you want to see more content of this type, you can find Buddy. Where can we find you? You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all at Buddy Warwick. Uh, link in the description below, right? 
I got Hey, you. we did it. <laughs> we did it. Let's head out. Okay, thanks again, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Spread big love in the comments for our main man buddy and give this a big thumbs up and we'll see you for the next episode.